1999, I tried an experiment. I made an ATM-like structure into the wall of a slum, which eventually got called the hole in the wall, and uh, put on the English internet and left it there. And very quickly saw that the children were beginning to teach themselves how to use the computer. This happened everywhere, including the deserts of Rajasthan. Here's a desert where, of all things, in four hours, the children were using the sound recorder to sing into the computer and listen to themselves sing by themselves. Down in South India, they were downloading games from Disney.com. Uh, this game is to assemble a camera and then take a photograph. Something that urban children would do all the time. But remember, these children have seen a computer only a few days ago or a few months ago. They don't know any English. They've taught themselves whatever English they needed to do to be able to do all this. So I started to document this whole process and to measure on a computer literacy scale what happens to groups of children if you just leave a computer with them. And the numbers were interesting. It was a straight uh, upward curve reaching about 42 on that scale, which is what an office secretary can do. If you gave that test today to an office secretary here, she would get about 42, 45%. So they were reaching that on their own in nine months. This was the conclusion from that section of the work, that groups of children can learn to use computers and the internet on their own, irrespective of who or where they are. In southern India, uh, Kuppam had been uh, hit by the Asian tsunami in 2004, and school was destroyed. Uh, many of the parents were dead. So the children uh, were sort of left alone there. And I had uh, built a hole-in-the-wall computer, uh, two of them actually, for them to play with. Um, because I thought it would be you know, good for their psychological health if they had, had something to play with. So they were pretty adept with these computers. So the assumption I made there in Kuppam was that um, groups of Tamil-speaking children in a tsunami-hit Indian village cannot teach themselves the biotechnology of DNA replication by themselves. <laughs> and I thought this is going to be a cinch. I'm going to you know, put in a pretest, they'll get a zero. I'll put in a post-test, they'll get a zero. That's the end of the matter. You need a teacher for that sort of thing. Biotechnology material into the computers in Kuppam. And I called the children. I said, I've put in some material here which is very difficult. You may not understand it. Um, but it's very important and very interesting. Uh, the children said, uh, what is it about? And I said, uh, do you understand anything? And they were absolutely quiet. And they said, uh, nothing. So I said, nothing at all? They said, no, it's, it's in English. It's big chemistry words. We didn't understand anything at all. So I said to them, how long did it take you to figure out that you can't understand anything? So they said, but we look at it every day. So I got a little puzzled there. I said, uh, you don't understand this at all, and you look at it every day. What do you do there? So this girl then, the, the girl uh, second from the left, she raised her hand, and she said to me in Tamil and English, apart from the fact that improper replication of the DNA molecule causes genetic disease, we've understood nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> So another big important, a huge important lesson for all of us that the children can set bars for themselves that are far higher than the bars that we set for them. So when a child says, I haven't understood anything, well, don't take him at face value. I mean, you never know what he's understood. So I pre and post tested them. It had gone to this. This is an educational absurdity, right? Tamil speaking. 10-year, 12-year-olds in an Indian village doing biotechnology on their own, going from zero in the pretest to 30% in um, two months. They had done it using a mixture of, uh, you know, diff different children had become teachers of different aspects of the subject. They had invented their own pedagogies. They had done their own searching. They had found their own sites. 
and they had gotten a 22-year-old girl, she's an accountant, and they sort of play football with her and they're great friends. So I called this girl and I said, can you teach them more biotechnology so that they can pass? So she said, well, how, how do I do that? I, I have no idea about this subject. So I said, no, you use the method of the grandmother. So she says, what's that? And I said, well, you stand behind the children when they're working on this, and you admire them. And you say to them, wow, what fantastic. That, that was, what was that diagram? Can you just show, me, show it to me again? What does it say there? I mean, how does that work? My goodness, I couldn't have possibly understood this my, on my own. So she did this for two more months. The results went up to 50% which was the same as the results in my control school, which is a posh private school in New Delhi with a trained biotechnology teacher. So